Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm making some Oguduk Eskimo ice cream. We don't have any fish right now and if we don't have any fish we use mashed potatoes. Well, they can put in however much they want. It doesn't really matter like some some areas they just they don't put in fish or mashed potatoes. They just use nothing but Crisco. If they don't have Crisco, my grandma she uses like moose fat if she doesn't have any Crisco. Chwathbuk, it's on the Kuskokwim River. It's uh, like it's upriver from Bethel. My grandma, I was four. Yeah, and I've been making it ever since. Since I was four. Yeah, and I used two hands because for some reason I, th I thought I saw my grandma use two hands and so I just like put in both my hands and she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I um, actually need help with an egg. <laughs> At first I was watching her make it every time she made it and Every time she made it, I'd always watch her, and she just one day she made me made it, and I thought it was pretty fun. You boil it, and then you squeeze the juice out, and then you take the bones, and then you just like you do. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. You just like put them into like small pieces into a bowl. And then you, um, once you do that, after that, you look for any bones. Usually when I make it with mashed potatoes, my favorite is using fresh picked blueberries. In the summer, yeah, the chwath block means in English home of the big blueberries. And they have the best blueberries in the world. Especially when they're big and juicy. Tastes good. I think I'm ready for the berries. Yeah, I'm just trying not to squash them, just spreading them out. And once, like, if I just, like, just make it, my grandma would call people over to have some. And it'd be gone by the time they're done visiting. Nope. And uh, this, I've actually never tried just plain raspberries before, so this is, which tastes pretty good because I love raspberries. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is a little bit. This is probably the least I've ever made. So yeah, I'm done. Just... It depends on like, if it's fish. I'd probably be stirring for a little bit longer. But then since this is mashed potatoes, it doesn't take long. So yeah, that's how you make a gudak. Anything else you want to add? It's good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Andrew, please. Okay. Good.